Many people don't know about gypsum powder, but it's a very interesting idea to try, and you'll be amazed by the results. Often considered merely a building material, gypsum powder actually holds a wealth of hidden potential. When used correctly, gypsum can be a creative, economical solution and deliver far superior results. Next, for this experiment, I've prepared three different containers. We'll fill each container with a gypsum powder mixture, but with different compositions. The goal is to compare the final results of each mixture so we can clearly see the differences. And here are the three containers I filled with water. Next, I added salt to one of the containers to see how the mixture would differ from the other. And here, I also picked up a pack of sasa, a popular food seasoning in Asia. This seasoning is similar to MSG or seasoning powder, commonly used to add savory flavor to dishes, making it a common everyday use in Asian kitchens. Next, in the first container, I sprinkled sasa into the mixture. The goal was to see how this food seasoning reacted when mixed with gypsum. Likewise, in the next container, here, I sprinkled salt as an additional mixture to see the difference in results compared to the first container. Okay, once everything is done, here I start stirring each container so that the mixture is completely mixed before we see the final result. And yes, to see the experiment this time, I used a stopwatch on my smartphone and placed it in front of me so we could monitor the hardening time precisely. And here, I sprinkled the gypsum powder into three containers in equal amounts, so we can compare the results fairly. Okay, let me explain while pouring this mixture into a container. Many people don't know that adding salt or sasa to gypsum mix has its own advantages. The end result might surprise you, because this simple trick can really help builders speed up and strengthen their work. After we sprinkle the gypsum powder into these three containers, now let's see together which container will harden faster and which container will actually take longer. Gypsum mixed with salt hardens much faster than other mixtures. At this point, the surface of the gypsum begins to appear solid, hard, and difficult to deform. And we can use this to create a variety of needs, such as wall hangings, home decor, or even simple molds for unique accessories. Just imagine, with a faster curing process, you can create flower-shaped molds, or logos. While this one is a mixture with just water, it still hardens, but it takes a little longer. And finally, here's the mixture with sasa. If we look closely, 
Even after almost half an hour, this mixture still hasn't hardened properly. The texture is still soft and takes much longer to fully harden. This indicates that the addition of sasa actually slows the gypsum's hardening process, unlike the salt mixture, which solidified much more quickly. Once completely dry, this gypsum mixture will harden like stone. Mixing with water alone still allows for hardening, but it takes a certain amount of time to reach maximum hardness. Meanwhile, mixing with sasa takes much longer to harden, even requiring more time than the previous two mixtures. Okay, gypsum mixed with sasa is very suitable for use if you want to attach something to the wall surface because the slow hardening process makes this mixture stickier and easier to arrange before it is completely dry. In addition, this mixture can also be used to make simple putty, fill small gaps in the wall, or as a temporary adhesive when installing decorative ornaments. Even if you are creative, this mixture can be used to make small molds that require fine details, because the texture takes longer to harden, giving enough time to shape as desired. Rather than throwing away the gypsum mixture with sasa, which takes longer to harden, I used it to patch a hole in the wall. The results were very helpful, as the slower hardening process gave me more time to level the surface and ensure the patch was spotless. Well, here's one of the advantages of mixing gypsum with sasa. It's perfect for jobs that require a longer setting time such as filling gaps, smoothing walls, or even gluing things together before they've completely hardened. So, for those of you who like to get creative, or frequently make minor repairs around the house, this simple trick might be a practical solution worth trying. From here we can learn that each mixture has advantages and disadvantages that can be utilized according to needs. A mixture of gypsum and water alone. This is arguably the most standard mixture. The advantage is that the final result remains solid, hard, and can be used for various general purposes, such as plastering or wall repairs. A mixture of gypsum and salt hardens quickly, making it suitable for projects requiring strong and fast results. However, this rapid hardening requires speed to maintain a clean surface. Conversely, a mixture of gypsum and sesa hardens more slowly, allowing more time for smoothing or creating detailed impressions. However, the process takes longer, making it less efficient for projects requiring a quick finish.